pan p content div it is equal to div gpt line height 0 px font size 0 px india is likely to save about 1 million dollars from its mandatory contribution to the world body next year as a result of the 5% budget cut pushed by the us India's assessed share of the regular UN budget in 2017 was $20.46 million and a 5% cut would amount to $1.023 million document right, if, ISIS a banner is equal to is equal to free and, display con banner is equal to is equal to 1, document right, good letter CMD push, function, Google it define out of page slot forward slash six five one six two three nine forward slash out of page underscore one x one underscore desktop div gpt at one four nine zero seven seven one two seven seven one nine eight minus zero at service Google it at poobards Google it at poobards enable sync rendering Google it at enable services the UN General Assembly approved a two-year regular budget of $5.397 billion for 2018 and 2019 on Christmas Eve during an unusual Sunday sitting. Secretary General Antonio Guterres spokesperson Stepfane Dujaric said it was 5% or $286 million below the budget for the years 2016 and 2017. It is also $193 million less than the original budget for 2018 and 2019 proposed by Guterres, he added. The General Assembly passes budgets for two years at a time but is going to switch to a system of annual budgets on a trial basis in 2020. There is a separate budget for peacekeeping operations with a different set of assessments and time periods. Using a complex formula that includes per capita income and gross domestic product, each country's assessment for the regular budget is fixed periodically as a percentage of the total budget rather than an amount. India's share is now 0.737% but it may go up in future as the economy improves. U.S. Permanent Representative Nikki Haley took credit for the budget cuts calling it one of the successes for Washington. We reduced the UN's bloated management and support functions, bolstered support for key U.S. priorities throughout the world, and instilled more discipline and accountability throughout the UN system, she asserted in a statement. The inefficiency and overspending of the UN are well known, she said. The U.S. share of the budget set at 22% is the highest and it contributed $611 million in 2017. While Haley, using her budget expertise as a former state governor, bargained hard during the negotiations, many other countries and gutters have also called for reducing the budget. The U.S. as the largest contributor will collect the biggest share of the cuts, but all the countries will also benefit in proportion to their assessed rate. U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he wants to cut the State Department budget out of which the U.N. dues are paid. The U.N. said that the cuts will come from macros board reductions in contractual services, furniture and equipment, consultants and travel, as well as reduced funding for special political missions.